All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. Just got into Chengdu, China, Sichuan province. Spicy Chinese food capital. Haven't been here in four years, and I am so pumped. Look at this, guys. We're in the morning market, bright and early. Just like old times, we're re revisiting all the classic spots. We're gonna make a lot of fun videos for you guys, and I am pumped. Look at this, morning market action. There is a lot of stuff here in this market. Look at all the chickens and the live crayfish. But I think we found what we're looking for right here. Ni hao. Oh, ni hao. Zhe me yang? Ni hao. Oh, look at this. This is ding ding tang ma. Oh, ding ding tang. Look, this is classic Sichuan street food. It's like a malto sugar. Ding ding tang. Wo ke yi lai er shi kuai ma? Er shi kuai de ding ding tang. Zhe ge zhe ge shi ma? Oh, Oh, good for the throat. Okay. Now will I uh uh Let's get 40. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's cracking it. He's cracking it. Wow. This is mature. This is mature. Can you Oh. Oh. Can you eat it? Can you eat it? Okay, so this red one, you have to put it in some hot water. Oh. But the white one, you can eat straight. This is good. Wow, it's so good to be back in China eating Sichuan food. Thai bangla. Oh, look at that scale. Wow. And then this is the real Sichuan street food here, guys. This white one here, the maltose candy. Ah. Oh. oh, he made it himself. Wow. Amazing. Look at this ding ding tang. <laughs> ding ding tang. Oh. Wow, this is gonna be good. Wow, Nama Tai Bangla, Wow, Sichuan Tai Hao, true to hen. Hi, Bangla. Look at this market, guys. Full action here. Oh, he's gonna put the the, the white the white powder on. This is this is This is tang ma. Mi tang. Oh, rice flour, rice flour. Mi tang, mi tang. Oh, how chima? He's a master of this ding ding tang, ding ding candy, and you can hear him di making the ding ding noise. Yes, Shini. Can you wash it quite, wash it quite? How? Buyong, 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 jiao, buyong, jiao. Yes, Shini. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, this is the egg. Oh, no problem, no problem, no problem. Oh! Yes, this one. Wow! Guys, it's been like five years since I had this ding ding tong. Let's try it out, guys. Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, how is it? Mmm! Oh, it's like a little citrusy in a way. Mmm! Yes, this one. Thank you. It's good. Mm. It's good for the throat. Wow. Mm, it's really taffy like. 
很香的，有柠檬吗？有柠檬，有有有，柠檬，一点点， yeah， it's a little lemony， 嗯，柠檬，有啊，香草，香草吗？香草，有有， a little vanilla too， 柠檬，柠柠檬香草。It's like a little lemony and vanilla. It's like a maltose rock sugar with lemon and vanilla in there. Really delicious. Ah, yes, yes. Bye, Jen. Shout out, Jen. Let's go see what we can find for uh, a breakfast or a snack. First things first, maybe some chicken feet. We got chilies. We got radish pickles, and actually quite a few varieties of chicken feet. Let's start off with some chicken feet for breakfast and some cold salad. Full action here. You just take some of this. Start off with pig ear. I think that's a duck intestine there. And then let's get some of this. This looks like a lotus root, potato, woody or mushroom, cauliflower salad. That looks good. Oh, and tofu. Oh, yeah. Look at that with seaweed. So what you do is you give her your custom salad selection, and then she's gonna add more chili oil, more garlic, fresh chilies in, and make it upgraded spicy. This is the magic station here. She's putting it into this Sichuan salad bowl, chopping it up. So we got the pig ear, we got the duck intestine, and the Sichuan salad. Oh, garlic, big leeks, chili, more fresh garlic, onion, oh, peanut, salt, MSG, oh, vinegar. That's a uh, sesame oil. Oh, and then peppercorn, Sichuan peppercorn. <laughs> Soy sauce, it's all in there. And this is the magic, look at that. Sichuan chili oil. And let's get some of this chicken feet too. These are pickled chicken feet. So they're gonna be sour and spicy and citrusy. You can see lemon in there. There's radish, pickled carrot. Look at that, all different types of pickled chilies. Here it is, deep in the local morning market. Starting off the day, we've got the pig ear salad with Sichuan spice, we've got peanut, we've got all that Sichuan peppercorn oil, tofu, looks really good. Let's just try it, oh. Mmm. Mm. Well, it's really good. It is spicy, aromatic, seasoned well. It's a very savory, spicy, numbing. Here it is, guys. Next for breakfast, we gotta go in with pickled chicken feet. This is another Sichuan specialty. You know the secret with chicken feet is this gelatin-like collagen part. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh, it's good actually. Wow, it's another dimension of Sichuan food. It's spicy, but it's not the mala type of spicy. It's like a sour spicy. It's like a tang jiao flavor. It's numbing with Sichuan peppercorn oil. This is the first place Ting and I shot a market tour in China and it went viral. It, it got like a few million views. We only had maybe 10,000 subs. Oh, look at this. Douhua, ni hao. Oh, this is douhua ma. This is tofu, and you can get chili oil on it. It's your dough, ma. Fang fang daize. Oh, look at this. This is dough, guys. Sichuan silken tofu. Oh, look at those giant cubes of dough. Oh, loading up the chili oil, broad bean paste, waiting, classic, and onions. Oh, xie xie ni. Tai hao la. Look at that. She's added on chili, broad bean paste, and MSG. Wow. She's just rocking out each portion individually. Mmm. Wow. How to the hen? Wow. Thai changla. It's really aromatic. Wow, and that silken tofu is just so soft and silky. And of course, it's got that MSG to bring out the flavor and the broad bean paste. This is just amazing, guys, to be back. Super delicious street food in Chengdu. Mmm. It's really delicious. Let's keep seeing what we can find. Look at all the classic Sichuan ingredients in here, guys. We've got Sichuan peppercorn. We've got dried chilies of all different varieties. We've got all the medicinal Chinese herbs here. Look at all these chilies here, guys. And this is where you grind up the chilies into dried chili paste. Oh, look at that. He's going to upgrade. Klima. That's Sichuan peppercorn powder. Wow. Onto my doha. Oh, and some chili. Wow! Tai hao la! Let's try it out. Chang yi chang. Upgraded dou hua. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Ma. Ma da. That's numbing. When you eat one of these, it's like your mouth just tingles with electricity. But it's almost citrusy in a way. This is the most numbing Sichuan peppercorn. It's bringing back memories. This guy we've seen like five years ago and he remembers us. We remember him. He's giving me discount. There it is. Sichuan Hua Jiao, Sichuan peppercorn. Let's challenge. 
Mmm. Mmm. Oh. So much. And shuang. <laughs> it's extremely numbing. Shuang. Yeah, a type of shuang. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten a peppercorn. It's been too long. I got weak. Seriously, I could barely breathe there. I think there's a street snack up here. Sichuan street snack. Never ever. Ni hao. Ah, lai lai. This is a very special food from our country. Oh, it's a It's a Okay, special pork blood. Let's try it out. Oh, there it is. So it's a bowl of boiled pork blood. Oh, soybean, green onion. But then the real secret, I think what's coming. Oh, Jeremy Fung. Secret chili oil. Let's try it out, guys. Look at that. Let's get some of that pork blood. Chili. Chili oil. Changi Chang. Changi Chang. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That's good. How's your hand? The pork blood actually tastes like tofu in a way. It's just soft and full of flavor. And the best part about it, I think my favorite part, is the chili oil combined with the crunchy soybeans. You got the soft pork blood, which just takes on the flavor of the chili oil and those crunchy soybeans, almost like popcorn in a way. Bye-bye. Let's keep going. And look what we found here, guys. A little Sichuan street pancake stall. Look at this. She's putting the fresh mold on the flame right now. She's gonna oil the pan. So she's got this sticky rice flour batter. So it's like a fermented rice flour batter. Look at that. And it says foo on there, which means happiness. And then gonna place it down. Okay, here it goes. Look, she's rotating it to get the heat even. Here we go. Look at this. It's time to put the filling. Insane aroma. It's like a fermented rice aroma. Almost smells alcoholic. Almost smells like sour fermented in a way and toasty. So that's peanut, sesame, soybean, and sugar. So that's going back on and then let's see what happens next. Oh, and then she's adding more rice starch on top and look at how perfect she is. She barely misses a drop. So it's a rice pancake. Literally, that's what it's called. And then it's gonna cow, it's gonna roast. Ooh, look at the golden. Wow, it's glowing. It's got a golden aura. Wow, shishini. Oh, hentang. Look at that happy cake. Let's just break it open. Oh, look at that. Steaming delight. Still super hot. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 Wow. It's really delicious. It's like a fluffy fermented rice flour batter. Almost alcoholic sour in a way with a sweet peanut sesame filling. So she's trying to give them all away because we bought a whole pan, but we only want two. She's so friendly. She's giving them out to all the people. Shasta Jen. How? Let's keep exploring, guys. Wow. This is bringing back all the memories. <laughs> Look at this. We just found a little local kitchen here making liangfen. Look at this, starch jelly, and it's gonna have Sichuan chili oil on it, I think. Let's see how it's done. Sichuan huajama, garlic. Oh, 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 bean paste. Xiao jiao, green chili. Oh, and then red chili oil. Oh, and then some green onion on top. Wow, xie xie ni. Tai hao la. Let's go try it out. It's like a Sichuan cold jelly noodle, basically. Cold and spicy and refreshing actually goes together really well. Let's try it out. Mmm. How should I? Wow. It's really nutty from the sesame. Oh, and spicy and numbing. Everything in chili oil in Sichuan is delicious. Serious memories coming back here, eating all this. Wow, we've had a lot of food in this market. Let's keep exploring. I think we're gonna go to classic noodle to finish off the tour. One from the old memory books. Let's go, guys. Oh, and here we are, guys. Made it back to the one of the top noodle spots in Chengdu. Oh, it's still bumping. Look at all the people eating here on the street. Ni hao. Oh my, it's so busy. And look at this, guys. This is the chili oil station. And now we're gonna see the making of the chili oil base, starting with a little starch, I think. We got weijing, so MSG, Sichuan peppercorn, oh, soy sauce, and then garlic going in. Look at that sesame going in. And then here comes, oh, that's the secret sauce. It's looking nutty. It's looking like peanutty almost. And then chili oil, la jiao yao. And then look, they just get some green onion. Look at this, guys. Full noodle cauldron. And all of this chili oil on the bottom. And then the noodles go on top. And then here's the plating station. Look at this, guys. That's the huigo ro. Twice cooked pork with chili broad bean paste. Oh, there's a few different variations, but definitely what you want to get is this one here, the huigo ro mian. Here we are, guys. Just got the huigo ro mian. Look at that. You can just pull up on one of these stools. Wow. And enjoy your noodles. So there's a lot in that chili oil. Usually it's chili oil, it's a little bit of ji jing, chicken stock, a little bit of soy sauce, garlic, Sichuan, oh, pepper. Oh, and you can smell the nuttiness. I definitely smell some sesame paste in there as well. Let's take it down. <laughs> this is an iconic bite. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 
Mmm, just look at that thick. It's absolutely coated with sesame paste and chili. It's like a nutty, spicy, aroma-infused Quago Row twice-cooked pork noodle. It is absolutely packed with flavor. If I could have any bowl, this would be it. Any day, hands down, number one right here. Absolutely legendary. Thank you, Mr. Hey. Thai is good. Thai is good. I haven't eaten this taste. It's been a year, it's been a year. It's been a year, it's been a year. Thai is good. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time, see you next time. That was unreal, guys. So much flavor. Okay, guys, and to finish up the day, we're going to get some tea in this beautiful tea park. Chengdu. One of my favorite memories from living in Chengdu was actually just chilling in these parks. They're so beautiful and you can just drink tea and you get into your zen moment. You get into your chill zone. And there we go guys, just enjoying tea in the park. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out those old videos from like seven years, eight years ago in Chengdu. I'm gonna leave a link to those in the description. Make sure to watch those. Those are the OG Food Ranger videos. Please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and thanks again. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks guys.